I would like to share with you two 17th century Italian plate paintings, one from Bologna and the other from Naples. The first painting is a street in Bologna during an epidemic in 1630 that kills 25% of Bologna's population. On each side of the street are apartments full of quarantined citizens. Public health workers go about their business on the street itself. It is interesting to speculate what they are doing. Here, a wrapped body is being lowered from an upper floor apartment window to a stretcher waiting below. Was this simply the easiest way to move the body? Or was ground floor access closed up to enforce the quarantine? The end of the street is fenced off and guarded. It appears that only those with official business are allowed to come and go. On the right are men with large baskets. Are they provisioning the apartments? Quarantines last 20 to 40 days, so provisioning is necessary. Here, health workers carry a patient to an apartment. A friar beckons to a porter to bring the patient's belongings. Public health workers killed this dog with a spear because they believe dogs and cats carry plague. This idea is not crazy because dogs and cats can carry infectious fleas. Unfortunately, eliminating cats and dogs increases rat populations, and rats are the source of plague. This grisly scene shows a canine execution. One public health worker appears to be holding a knife, the other a large rock. One feels sorry for the dog. A health worker emerges carrying bedding from a vacated apartment. Today, we know that infectious fleas can survive in bedding for weeks, so removing it is a good idea. I suspect the next step is to burn it in the fire. Why are these officials looking on? Perhaps they are making sure valuable but potentially contaminated household goods are burned and not resold. The seated official seems to be keeping a tally, perhaps for compensating heirs for their lost property. Here is a portable altar. People confined to the apartments above can look down and see the mass. We can guess that this portable altar moved up and down the street and the priests perform mass in front of each apartment block. This cart has a custom lid that opens for a body and then closes. Here, in a similar painting, we can see how this clever lid works. This attention to detail is typical of northern Italy's highly organized response to plague. Unfortunately, it fails because no one at the time understands where plague comes from or how it spreads. Today, we know it comes from rats and other rodents and spreads mainly by flea bites and sometimes by coughing. We will next look at details from Carlo Coppola's painting of Naples, Piazza Mercato, as it appears in 1657 during a horrific epidemic that kills 150,000 people, half the population of Naples. Here is a nobleman on horseback. He looks overwhelmed. He is surrounded by victims. Body disposal was only one of many problems faced by officials. Here, victims crowd around a fountain. Plague causes a high fever and makes victims thirsty. When I look at their faces, I begin to feel what it was like to be in a plague epidemic. A priest gives communion to plague victims while at the same time keeping his distance and covering his face. He is in a difficult position. Many priests die in epidemics, but the church considers plague punishment for sin. An honorable priest should have little to fear. So, is this priest a coward for taking precautions? No. No one working in this piazza could be considered a coward. 
Braver still is his assistant. Do you see him passing out communion wafers? He does not even have a kerchief over his face. Here a man is executed, perhaps for breaking quarantine laws. A young child and mother stand next to the gallows, looking on. Are they the family of the condemned man? Here, an executed man is displayed on a platform as a warning to potential lawbreakers. But people pass by with little notice. Bodies are loaded into a wagon by workers with kerchiefs over their faces. Perhaps the kerchiefs are for protection or perhaps for reducing the smell. When full, the wagon will go to a mass grave, a plague pit, outside the city. I hope you found these paintings as interesting as I did. Both provide a glimpse into truly awful times. I would like to thank the Museo di San Martini and Bologna's Archivio di Stato for allowing me to photograph them. You can see Carlo Coppola's enormous painting hanging in the Museo di San Martini in Naples. The anonymous painting from Bologna is not on public view. Please contact me if you have questions or comments.